Hola, buenos dias. So after mm -hmm. a very fun night, um, just hanging out and then going out to dinner and having some drinks with the people who happen to be in our immediate tour group, we are gonna, now we are meeting up with the tour group once again and we're gonna get on a boat and go look at the Ballestas Islands. Poor man's Galapagos. <laughs> Other, otherwise known as the poor man's Galapagos. <laughs> so this should be pretty fun to get out in the water. Um, we can't go in the water, we can't go on the island, but we do get to take a boat out to the ocean. Um, so that's pretty cool. We get to be on the water and maybe we'll see some wildlife. Oh, also, if you're curious as to what we are eating, we pretty much take a picture of almost every meal, or at least if it's if it looks yummy enough to take a picture of on our Instagram. So please follow our Instagram, The Void Fill, um, or you can find the link below in the description of this video. I feel really good for how much I drank, so. <laughs> yeah, we both feel perfectly fine, surprisingly. I might. Maybe. Hopefully not. <laughs> so Paracas is, it is quite beautiful here. It is a, it's a small coastal town and I'm sure it relies heavily on tourism. And I'm going to Take you around right now so you can see for yourself. We just got done doing the Ballestas Islands tour or the Poor Man's Galapagos and it was incredible. That'll be a separate video that you can see. Also please, please follow us on Instagram because then you can see all of the pictures that you are not seeing on the YouTube videos. And right now I am going to take you past the, uh, the hostel that we stayed in, the Paracas Backpacker's House. It was incredible. Hell yeah. <laughs> Here's the marquee. And here is just, uh, here's the town of Paracas. Lots of um, tour agencies. You can rent, and you can ride dune buggies. I think you can rent dune buggies. Of course, there's the Ballestas Islands tour. Um, there's probably, I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff I just don't know about. I inquired about snorkeling and scuba diving because Nicole loves um, the marine life so much but I couldn't find anything uh, for snorkeling or scuba diving in Paracas maybe maybe if I know somebody or um, maybe I don't know um, I don't think it wasn't advertised I couldn't find it anyway but it doesn't mean that it might not that doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't exist but right now we're just gonna go look in these little uh, touristy shops to try and find uh, a headband for Nicole because her forehead is getting burnt. <laughs> My big old forehead. Success. We have found a headband for Nicole. And uh, right across the street from me here was the entrance to the boat tour that we just did. <laughs> it's a picture of the pelican. 
I got you, I got you, no, no, no. Okay. Take your bag to me. Wow. <laughs> Picture with the, uh, the pelican uh, grabbing the fish behind you. So I threw him a couple sodas. You have to. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> There is definitely no shortage of restaurants here in Paracas. I mean, it's like, take your pick. As you walk by, a lot of them will present their menu to you and, uh, you know, to try to get you to come in and sit down. So after another incredible seafood meal, we are going to go to the local meetup spot that our tour guide has designated for us here in Paracas. And it is now time to do some dune buggies and sandboarding. Cruz, Matuis, Parogi. Ah! Es, es Chris Matui Parogi. Yes! <laughs> 